good morning. It is 7.18 on my way to work on a Wednesday. Um, I'm checking. That was my purse. Hold, let's hold on. All right, I am checking in just to get the day started. I am actually on my way to school and I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with my homeroom class, my morning homeroom class. My morning homeroom class is the one that's a little bit ahead of everyone else. They finish presenting on their abolitionist um, and they are going to be working on preparing for their academic debate, but I don't know that that's going to take the whole class period. And I, I just don't feel prepared to do the next step in the Civil War. Um, I think instead of focusing on Abraham Lincoln, I want to talk about like the concept of compromise and what is compromise so that then we can talk about the compromises that just delayed what ended up becoming the Civil War. And so there's a couple things that I like saved or tagged last night that I need to look at a little bit more thoroughly before I introduce that. So I'm not hundred percent sure what's going to happen. I do know that I am going to show them a Ted Ed video on Harriet Tubman because when one of the groups was presenting on Harriet Tubman and they mentioned the Underground Railroad, I made sure to mention to them, like, if nothing else, please make sure that you understand that the Underground Railroad was not, in fact, a railroad that was underground. And some of them were like, it's, it wasn't. So I'm going to give them a little bit more information on that. My AM Switch class, the two, I think there were two groups that presented yesterday. I'm going to go ahead and have them represent. I think that's a little bit of an academic lesson I need them to learn. Um, I'm going to have them come in. I'm going to let them know that I'm going to want them to represent, give them some time to get their thoughts together. They'll either represent today or tomorrow um, because they just, they need to be, they need to be better. Um, so I'm going to do that. And then the rest of the classes are pretty much going to be finishing getting their presentations finalized and present. I made sure to give each class later in the day the little lecture of like when you say you're ready make sure you are truly ready if I choose to ask you a question or your classmates answer a question and you are comfortable responding and your response is not going to be I don't know that's just what it said <laughs> and those kids that said that like they they're not bad kids like they really just thought that giving that answer was sufficient and so I need to them to learn especially heading to high school, that that is not a sufficient answer. I said, never, ever, ever say that in a presentation. If you have to make something up, I do that. But don't say, I don't know what that means. That's just what it said when I read it. So that's the plan for today. Um, and I think that's it. Um, I th oh, I'm also contemplating, I have saved up a little bit of my YouTube money, the money that I set aside for clothing. Um, I have saved up some of that and I'm thinking about getting a laptop um, because I know that I'm going to want to work on some things for school for the next school year and when the summer comes, as comfy and as much as I love like the decor of my office, I just it's hard for me to get up there and be in there. Like I just want to be on the couch all summer relaxing and so I kind of want to have the option to work but work portably so I need to do a little research I need to see how much they cost I need to see if I can afford it <laughs> and if so I'm probably gonna get like a Mac book air is what I'm looking at so that's it that's all that's happened thus far I contemplated this morning waking up at 4 30 getting dressed and then going to work and just working because I'm not getting I, I just want to get the whole Civil War thing planned out and I just haven't found the opportunity and I did realize one of the one of the reasons why I'm extra tired is um, at this point in the year more so than I've ever been in previous years is because I don't have an hour prep every day I'm I lose five hours of prep every week if we were under normal circumstances I would have a prep period that is an hour and we don't have prep periods and even when I compare my current schedule to what school was like when I was teaching 100% virtually there were these little pockets of prep 30 to 40 minutes um, every day in between classes I don't have that now um, we do have an hour lunch but half of that is spent with me eating um, at least 
and we do have Mondays where we're teaching remotely from home and only checking in with each class for 30 minutes but as you've seen in previous vlogs my Mondays get sucked up real fast with meetings and IEPs and so that doesn't even make up for it so I was like that's one of the reasons why you have felt so tired because you're making up for that lost time just by working later so um, I'm looking forward to things getting back to normal next year where we actually have a prep period because it makes a difference anyway I just arrived to work wish me luck today talk to you later hello I'm on the floor it's 4 30 again when I'm on the floor I am just tired and I don't know why sitting in this particular spot on the floor makes me feel better when I'm just like worn out and just need a moment to just sit so um, I got home I I've been here for probably a good 45 minutes and I needed a minute to sit down partially because I was tired from work but also because for about 45 minutes I didn't know where my wallet was so this morning the student who I ordered the Starbucks for on Friday gave me some money to get her a Starbucks again this Friday but she gave me like way too much money she gave me $20 and I was like this is more um, money that I need to even get us through the rest of the school year because we only have I think three Fridays left and she gave me $20 so I told her I'm gonna give you change I'm gonna give you $10 back because I had $10 in my wallet so I go to get it and I realized my wallet's not there I didn't think anything of it because I was like oh I must have just left it at home because when I ran out for an appointment yesterday I just grabbed my wallet and so I get home and my wallet is nowhere to be found and I was looking high and low and it's so nerve-wracking when you lose your wallet because it's not like your phone where you can like ping it and get the gist of where it's at so just before I was about to start crying I do what I always do and I just stopped and said dear God please let me find my wallet I was pretty confident it was in my house because I remember paying after my appointment yesterday but I wasn't seeing it and then luckily I went back in the car looked in the little um the little pocket that's on the door and there it was so I needed to come up here sit down and rest my nerves from that stress um, I'm getting ready to change because I'm going on a walk with a friend of mine that I used to work with at my previous school um, when I was teaching elementary school she was the librarian there and she asked if I would like to go on a walk with her and I said sure we haven't like seen each other in a while so it's gonna be nice to catch up but I got mail which I wasn't expecting because I didn't get an email saying this shipped um, so I'm gonna share this with you I almost wasn't gonna share it with you because I feel like some of you might judge because I I'm not 100% sure that this plan is going to work but I ended up buying this happy planner right here now um, before you say why I'm not going to take it out of the bubble wrap because well maybe I should um, I bought it because I don't how do I want to handle myself I'm not taking it out of the bubble wrap it turns out I bought it because I want a planner a paper based planner that really encompasses like a year range plan for language arts history and leadership just kind of housed in one place I just want something that's just a rough sketch of what my year is gonna look like in those three things um, not super detailed plans those are more so going to be done continue to be done on planbook.com but just something that I have that I can reference when I'm like what like in the month of November what's going on what leadership things do I need to do um, what where was I approximately this time of year in history and language arts and so I don't know how I saw that they had a home school planner but I did and then I watched a couple of YouTube videos to kind of see the layout and the layout is a little bit different I think it's going to work uh, but but we'll see we really don't know because I feel like I buy planners and I think it's gonna work and then something happens and then I just got this little um, extension pack and so well, let's be honest some of the reason why I bought this is because it's just so pretty and cute so that came in the mail I wasn't expecting it but I am looking forward to kind of using it over the summer not now um, and that kind of goes along with the idea of me looking into getting a laptop I think that is gonna happen um, but I'll be sure to let you know if that idea works so in my mind that planner will have like general plans throughout the year for language arts history and leadership things that I really anticipate doing 
each year and maybe tweaking it a little bit here and a little bit there but still maintaining my digital plans where I have links and all of that so um that's the most exciting thing that happened today in class we were finishing up presentations we're just about done in every class I think there's one class that has two more that we need to do and the other class where they're representing they're going to represent tomorrow um a few of the classes got time to get ready for their debates um but we are going to have to debate on Friday so they'll get time tomorrow and um that's really it um yeah that's really it the presentations got better um so just a matter of teaching kids what you're looking for but i'm going to change clothes so that i'm not late meeting my friend and i'm going to enjoy my little walk um i'll try and take some footage if it's like nice scenery uh but last night's dinner was delicious those enchiladas just didn't disappoint they were very good i'm looking forward to leftovers um and being able to come home and not have to cook and so that's all that's going to happen afterwards i think i have to get my slides ready for tomorrow because i didn't do that but that should be pretty easy because they're just preparing for their debate and or having the debate so i'm going to go ahead and close the vlog here um also today's wednesday yes i just posted on instagram birdies is having a giveaway the video they you know gifted me a pair of birdies so that i can try them out and see if it was something that i was interested in i tried them on they are very comfortable i've never had birdies before so i got a very light gray pair i'm gonna wear them tomorrow with my outfit but the giveaway you're gonna watch this tomorrow so i'm gonna have to speak in future tense the giveaway ends tomorrow for me but today for you which is may 6th i think at midnight and so you need to check out my instagram account for the details and enter if you're looking for a free pair of flats or sandals i believe they also sell but aside from that i hope you enjoyed today's vlog if you did please give this video a thumbs up if you're not subscribed make sure you do that if you're not following me on instagram head over there and as always i hope that you guys are well and if you're not well please be well and i will see you tomorrow see you then